Eli, can I do a strawberry mango Red Bull? No, that'll be all. Thank you. Hi, it's 131. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Bag secured, boys and girls. Sorry. Hi, Biad. Well, today today is an exciting day, and today is off to a weird start for me. First things first is I started off my morning by really messing up my lip. You can't really tell. Um, I might be able to show you guys a little bit later in a different angle, but this, my whole lip right here, yeah, it's raised. I slammed my face in the back of my truck and now I have a puffy lip. I don't even know how that happens, but I did it. It happened. I slammed my face in the bed of my truck on the oven and the roof of my truck and like sandwiched my face and now I, I busted my lip. So um, I've never done anything like that before, but you know, it, a great way to start today's video. So if my lip looks weird in today's video, I apologize, but thank you for taking the time out of your day and clicking on today's episode to sit here and watch me talk about my busted lip from this morning. This was like 20 minutes ago, not even. So not even this morning. I mean, it's 10 o'clock. It's still morning. Anyways, cheers. We have a very cool, very cool video. Um, we're definitely running into a little bit of a problem right now. Saw the title, you know, you saw the thumbnail. We, we got an oven. I'm gonna showcase it to you guys. You guys are gonna see it. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be cool. But the only issue right now is I can't find anything that will fit in the oven to cook off of because it's a small camping one. Um, and I could have sworn we had one at my house. We did not. So now I'm at Walgreens. I'm pulling in. I highly doubt Walgreens has it. So we might be, might be behind schedule by a lot right now just because we're trying to find a stupid little pan. Just a little pan? Do they even carry this type of thing? Like... I don't even think they carry it like pans and stuff in Walgreens. Why am I here? Pans. I'm on Walgreens.com. They don't. Shoot, where do we go? Hot damn. Okay, so I know that I know Stop and Shop will have it. Ignore my backup beeper. Please don't bully me. Please don't bully me. I already get bullied by everyone else for my backup beeper. I can't turn it off. embarrassing let's just go to stop and shop i think i think that's what we need to do right now is to go to stop and shop because i know they'll have it a and b i don't want to be running around all day i do have a really cool spot that we're going to be using the oven at and that is located in the opposite direction so go becca we're freaking killing it right now my lip hurts Hopefully you guys enjoy the jam sesh. I wish I could put my whole jam session, but there's this thing called copyright and my channel can get deleted by YouTube. So I can't <laughs> really, but hopefully you enjoyed that. Here you go, Missy. You're not even on the sidewalk, not even close, but. Stop and shop, don't let me down. I absolutely hate shopping here. I was gonna go to this cute Ma and Pa place, but now I can't go there because I know they don't have pans. I'm not making a million different stops. This whole mask mandate drives me nuts because I'm always losing my masks. Oh, here we go. I had a Guggen Squad mask. I don't know where that one went. Let's go inside and hope they have one. Ugh. Strapped. The options are slim. I could definitely cook it out of this, even though this isn't like ideal. I could get two of these. They're just all too big. 
Yeah, every single one is just a little bit too big, but I really think this is the perfect size. So we're gonna get two of these and then we have to find exactly what we're cooking in the oven. And I have a pretty good idea. A uh, bag secured. Bag secured. I'm just not a stop and shop fan. Support your local mom and pop shops. My local mom and pop shops just don't have pins and stuff, so I went to stop and shop. I'm sorry. I am going to head to the spot where we will be. Uh, showcasing the item using the item testing the item first run just going absolute bonkers doing some cool stuff you know what i'm saying and uh yeah i'll meet you guys at the spot it's about 15 20 minutes away it should be really cool really fun and i'm just really excited to cook up some unicorn cookies <laughs> Oh man. Oh, there's the oven. Well, we officially made it to uh, our little camp cooking site for the day, but, um, ah, man, it's just so beautiful out right now. I don't even know what to say, but there she is. All her pride and glory. I have not done much with her yet, much of anything at all. Um, it was something I really wanted for my birthday back in November. And I ended up getting a bunch of Bass Pro gift cards for my birthday. And what did I do? I used Bass Pro gift cards and finally bought it. You can ask anyone that I'm friends with, any family members. I wanted this thing for probably about four months, but I waited until I could afford it. And then I ended up getting a bunch of Bass Pro gift cards and I was like, this is my time to shine. I'm gonna buy it. This is on my bucket list to buy um, for video ideas and things that I wanted to buy for the truck. Before I even started building the truck, this was my motivation to actually build the truck was to buy this thing, which sounds so crazy, but I was like, oh, you know, it'd be really cool if I could cook in the back of my truck with an oven. Oh, I should, I should build a platform. I should sleep in my, I should do, oh my God. Yeah, so that's really how this whole thing started was actually buy this oven, which sounds like a crazy story, but you gotta start somewhere. And that was my motivation, weird. Despite the truck, I just realized um, we're actually, this is salt water that we're at right now. I'm gonna just walk through here a little bit. And um, it's not something you see a lot in New England, especially in Rhode Island, the southern end of New England, but the salt water is actually frozen. Not very common to see. This is the bay, so it makes sense. There's not like current and waves coming in through here, but it's pretty cool knowing that it's gotten that cold to the point where the salt water is frozen. Let's find a rock. Mmm, yummy salt water smell. That was sick. <laughs> it didn't even really make a dent. Oh! Seagull, 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 seagull. We have a goal, a dream, a passion, and that is ovens. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the hell to work this thing. This should be really interesting. Um, I've never started it up. Nothing. Just took the packaging off because I was really excited when it first showed up at my house and now I, I don't know. Pretty snazzy though. This is important. This piece is going to be your propane connector. I'm, I'm curious to see if we can bake without using the big um, like huge propane tanks. I do have the big pro propane tank connector if we do need it. I'm just hoping we don't have to because I don't have one on me. I really hope this is as simple as I'm making it right now so I don't have to watch some YouTube video right now. So like that and then we gotta find where it connects. Okay, it looks like it connects right here. Oh yeah. Okay, that's nice and snug in there. Maybe, maybe 
maybe up here. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good right there. Read all instructions before lighting. I threw the instructions out. Um, outdoor oven. Open oven door and and lid during lighting. If ignition does not occur in five seconds, turn the burner controls off. Wait five minutes. Repeat the lighting procedure. So uh, procedure. I need a lighter. Oh come on. Oh come on. Come on. No, please, please, please. We made it so far. Shoot. Oh, okay, this one works. Open oven door and lid during lighting. Where do you light? Where is the ignition? I have no idea. The knob is stuck. What the hell? What? What? Oh my God. Can we get a slow mo on that? Can we can we get a slow mo? I'm having a full on panic attack and my heart is racing. I'm shaking. What the? What? I must just caught my truck and everything on fire. I'm like mentally unstable right now. I'm gonna sit in my truck for a hot second. Watch some YouTube videos on how to use this thing. I did try last night to look some up and nothing was coming up. I don't know why people don't make videos about how to use it, but couldn't find like a user guide online. I'm gonna try extra hard right now because whatever just happened was terrifying. I can still smell it like, oh my God, dude, what the hell just happened? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing with Becca. If you aren't already subscribed, subscribe because we do a lot of learning curves on this channel and then learn from them so i'll see you guys for you in two seconds for me i'm gonna give myself like 10 minutes to calm down after that explosion it literally exploded <laughs> the camp ship outdoor oven is a great tool for you whether it's warm cinnamon rolls in the morning or warm chocolate chip cookies at night the outdoor oven will give you that capability okay so so many YouTube videos later, you need to turn both burners on because they share the same hose. So these two have to be on in order for the oven to work. And so far, you can see the oven's definitely warming up right here, if you guys can see that. So that's a really good sign. And it's definitely, yeah, I mean, it's definitely getting really hot in there. So we're doing something right. If you're planning on buying this thing, keep the instructions because you will not find one single YouTube video on how to actually turn it on. <sighs> Probably 30 YouTube videos in order to figure this out. No exaggeration. My truck is not messy. Me, never. Messy truck, never. Well, it's, it's working and it's almost preheated. It's saying the oven's at 300 degrees. So I, I didn't even check our cookies to see what we need preheated to. Preheat to 350 or 325. Hello, sir. No, it's weird. I'm making unicorn. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I'm so stoked for this. Say what you want. They're going to taste unreal. Um, I love sugar cookies. I'm such a sucker. Safe to eat raw. We didn't even need to do this. It says safe to eat raw. 
save the money. Don't buy th buy it for 300 bucks. You can eat this for it's raw. Forget your brownies and everything you want to bake. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yes, this thing's definitely a little pricey. I mean, it's 300 bucks for this oven, right? Kind of pricey, kind of ridiculous. But then you got to realize you go to a tailgate, you're a legend showing up to the tailgate like this. Am I blown out? Am I out of frame? Oh, that's, look how blown out I look now. Ooh, how's that? That's a little dark. Learning about cameras. Probably should clean this first, but we're really raw dog in life right now because we're camping. We, we don't have cleaning supplies, which I need to invest in. There's like a portable camping sink I wanted to buy, collapsible thing. Um, make sure you get all your stickers off because the last thing we want is another thing to catch on fire besides my face. These pans should be good, but this is just kind of like, we're gonna use this for now, these two pans. We're gonna get better pans really soon because, I mean, I just had a heart attack. Yes, they do fit. I just measured it real quick with my eyeballs, you know? Um, but yeah, this should be interesting. I don't know, is this a nonstick pan? No. Oh my God, yeah, it is. It is a nonstick pan. So do I even need to put anything on this? That would have been nice before I put that stuff on it. Are you at 350 yet? Oh my God, it's almost at 350. Look at her freaking little unicorns. They're gonna look good and much better once they're actually like cooked. But I love Pillsbury's cookies. Like when the Christmas edition come out and like the Halloween edition comes out the Hanukkah edition one comes out. These are like the OG cookies. Like if you have not had these cookies yet, get them. It doesn't have to be the unicorn. Just felt like it was really fitting. There's so many people out and about today. People probably think I'm crazy baking unicorn cookies out of the bed of my truck, catching myself on fire, but I call it passion. Okay, these guys get really big in the oven, so I'm gonna do like two, I could probably do like six on each pan. This nonstick better work or I'm gonna be really mad. <laughs> That's gonna suck. Yeah, like that looks perfect. So we'll bake 12, bring some home to the fam, show them my pure freaking baking skills. One, two, three, four five six and i do a little bit of that i i don't trust non-stick pans but i'm gonna try to trust that that that's gonna work might be a little hard to see maybe not but it is over 350 right now and one thing that a lot of people said in the reviews that was hard to keep it where you want it um so i hope it doesn't go over 350 but it most definitely will because i don't know how to control it okay i think that's fine now we're gonna open this up we're gonna put this on the bottom oh wait put that one on the top this one on the bottom huh and then that's there we go oh there we go we're like controlling it oh okay a review said once you open yeah that's hot once you open this it goes down by like five degrees which it definitely did so it's at 350 right now where's our instructions we're gonna do some sort of instructions today will be the cookies not the oven okay so it says 12 to 14 minutes we're gonna put a timer on for 12 minutes it's rolling, baby. It's rolling. Oh, this is funny. What's your unicorn name? Combine the first letter of your name. My first letter of my name is R, Rebecca. So it's Jolly with the month you were born in, November, Starlight. I'm Jolly Starlight. Not really a fan of that one. And they also said you could eat these bad boys raw, so. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, that was good. So it took like 25 minutes to preheat. Not bad. There's no instructions online, not even on their website, by the way. I did check their website, not just YouTube. 
nothing. And I'm a feeling that it's gonna take a lot longer to cook than 12 to 14 minutes because of the oven. I don't know why, it just didn't feel like it was 350 degrees when I opened that oven up just then to put the cookies in. So I'm not really sure. But one thing that I can do right now is I didn't build this truck bed for nothing, okay? We got a beautiful bed for our step stool. Oh yeah. Oh, this is the life. Nice. I'm gonna hang out here for 12, 14 minutes. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. We officially put the curtains in and added those lights that we bought five below. Um, they don't slide, which is what I wanted them to do is be able to open, but there wasn't many options on how to install them. So yeah, we kind of just use the bolts that keep the window in, unscrew those bolts, put those hooks on the bolts, re-screwed them into the window. And then, um, on the hooks, we put the curtain rod holder in it and we made curtains. Um, as you can see, there's some staples all over the place cause we stapled them cause, um, a little ratchetness never hurt nobody. Nobody said I was Bob the Builder, okay? When I started this camper build, no one said that. It could look better though, but I'm a fan of it and I'm actually really impressed with their hard work, so I'm not mad about it. And that's all that matters as long as I'm happy with it. The last window, we need to take care of this one. We have one for, um, you know, where you enter the truck and then we have the two side windows done like you just saw. We just need to do this one next and we should be done. But it's like 40 degrees out right now, it's pretty cold but not for me. Like it is cold out, but I'm very comfortable right now. It's actually like one of my favorite temps is between 40 to 50. Chef's kiss, literally chef's kiss. I am a chef, in case you didn't know. Pure chef right here, Chef Becca. I know how to bake unicorn cookies, not you. I'm sure you do actually. Ooh, timer. I'm scared to check it. It could not work at all. Do we do it? Do we check it? I'm scared. Okay, let's go. We gotta go. Let's go check. The bed is too comfy. Ooh, they're definitely not done yet. But they're looking good. I need to get my oven mitt out because I do have one. Oh, wait a second. I don't even need to open this. It came with an oven mitt. Never mind. The bottom ones aren't done. Let's check the top. Not quite. So it could quite possibly just cook a lot slower. Oh, wait. So it could quite possibly just cook a lot slower than most ovens, which is it's propane and it's outdoors and would make sense. But they're like halfway done. The unicorn cookie instructions lied to us. Back to bed we go for at least another 10 minutes. I'm gonna set like an eight minute timer. I'm trying to take my shoes off, geez. <sighs> this bed is dangerous. It's too comfy. Might close my eyes. Just kidding. Eight minute timer. And then we'll check it. Let's check on the cookies. All right, let's see. Ah, they're close. I wouldn't say done yet but they're close. I could very well be doing something wrong, but I mean, it says 350. They're cooking real slow though. Not sure how people are cooking all these crazy meals in this. I really think I have to be doing something wrong. I think they're done. They look good. They have a little bit of, of golden brown to them. Now to shut this thing off, off, off. It didn't explode. Oh yeah. Uno. Dos. Look at these bad boys. 
if I can get a good grip on them. You know, the cookies never turn out the way that they look on the box, okay? But those are pretty majestic looking unicorns if I say so myself. We're gonna let them cool down for a minute and then um, we're doing an obvious taste test. I mean, come on now. I'm not just gonna bake cookies for you guys. I'm gonna eat them for you guys too, you know? Now, I love this little step thing on my truck. So I usually just sit on it. It's kind of dirty right now. Anyway, sorry, that was, that was off topic. What I'm trying to get at right now is, is this thing worth the money? It's cool. I really do like it and I will be bringing it once I learn more about it. I'm gonna keep doing research on it and if you guys wanna send me links on Instagram, please feel free to do so because your girl is lost. But once that's like done and we figure out more, I could see myself using this a lot when it comes to outdoor camping. Again, like I said, if you wanna be a tailgating machine, you wanna be the coolest guy sitting outside of a football game in the parking lot, this is definitely for you. For camping, um, the review said it, um, and I'll say it myself, it is definitely excessively heavy. I think it's 32 pounds um, is what it said online. It definitely feels heavier than 32 pounds, but pretty absurd for uh, just such a small oven. And um, you can tell the materials aren't necessarily like top notch. Like it's not unreal quality, but I've heard people using these things for years to come. So apparently, you know, um, they last a while, which is awesome. But I don't know. I don't hate it. Um, I don't hate it. It cooks. I don't think I used it right cooking, but I cooked on it, right? So I guess that's all that matters. But we're definitely gonna give it a taste test. And um, and then I think I'm gonna have someone else taste my cookies for you guys to end off the video. Cause I, I don't wanna be the only person judging my cookies. Of course I'm gonna say it was good cause I went through the work and effort of it. You know what I'm saying? So many cars. So. <laughs> Going through the work and effort of making a meal usually makes it taste better to you, especially any camping meal really tastes good. If you camp, you know what I'm saying. Any camping meal tastes good. So um, yeah, let's try it. I think it's fine. I mean, we just talked for like a minute, right? That's enough time cooling. What do they recommend, like 10 minutes, five minutes? That's some bowl. These, this pan isn't even that hot anymore. I'm just using my sweatshirt to hold it. Don't even probably need to do that. Non-stick pan worked. <laughs> I grabbed a spoon just in case, but I don't even think I need it. I can just, oh my God, it actually kind of cooked perfect. Oh my God. Unicorn cookies, unreal. Pillsbury in general is just. <coughs> <coughs> the best that, <coughs> the best around. Sorry, don't eat and talk at the same time, it's rude. And you can choke, like me. I'm gonna take all the cookies and just put them in one pan. It'll make my life easier. One thing that I heard about this is a lot of people like camping with this because it has, it's so, there's, that's, that's storage right there, you know? Obviously when you're not using it. Um, yeah, so I could definitely see that being awesome. Wow, it's like not hot at all. Just came out of the oven, that's weird. Anyways, yeah, I could see that being a huge factor and liking it, um, but man, it's not a bad product. We made cookies. We can officially cook anything we could want out of my truck. quickly because we need a taste tester to end off the video god what the heck welcome hello so i made unicorn cookies okay <laughs> try them good did I do good? 
Oh, that was bad. Come on. Yeah, buddy. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Now you guys know I wasn't lying. The cookies were good. Everything came out really good. Definitely crunchy. Mm -hmm. I, right? I don't know if it's because of the pro... It's like propane, if that makes a difference on how it cooks or not. But came out a lot crunchier than normal. But I like my crunchy cookies, so I'm not going to complain. You can um, cook them in this pan. Yeah. So it looks like, really clean. What? <laughs> it looks clean. It's brand new. I, just I know, but after being cooked on, it still looks Oh, it's a non-stick pan. Um, yeah. We're getting fancy over here. Five bucks to stop and shop. Anyways, any questions about the oven, leave them linked down below. Uh, chances are I probably won't even be able to answer them because I know nothing about this thing still, but I'll try my best. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Taking time out of your day and clicking on today's episode. Uh, we had some fun. Some fails. A lot of fails, but in the end, it ended up ending on a good note because we got some cookies, so I'm not mad. Um, that's all I got for you guys. I love you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.